Okay, so today I'm going to be taking a closer look at the Luchador Titan. I know a couple of you were asking me what weapons and modules uh, should you use on this Titan. So I'm going to give you my input and this is all based on me testing, uh, based on me actually running these builds against top players. So I actually know what kind of works and you know hopefully this is going to be able to help you uh, when it comes to saving things like platinum. So um, there's a couple of builds as I said we're going to start with this build over here. So the Grom and Cinder. So I'm just showing, uh, you know, the max uh, damage stats. Now, you know, why do I like this build? So first of all, the Cinder weapon, as you can see, it has a range of 125 meter radius. Um, this is actually really good for uh, charging up your mothership. So if you're running, especially like the Mantis, uh, which is uh, probably the best mothership, I think, uh, you know, for this build, um, it helps to heal you up, you know, when you're using your ability. So I kind of like it with that. Um, you got to remember too with the Luchador, you are typically jumping at the enemy. Uh, you aren't really playing it from a distance, although you could do that. Uh, the strength is really jumping in there and, you know, doing damage that way. So, uh, you know, I prefer these weapons. Uh, we have Titan Anti-Control. I actually had a question during uh, today's live stream. Um, you know, you guys were asking, why did I run uh, two Titan Anti-Controls? So the reason why I run two Titan Anti-Controls is because if you read the uh, description here, not only does it provide extra durability, but um, it says here, uh, the more modules uh, they are, the shorter the reload time, two max modules provide permanent protection against lockdown suppression and freeze effect. That means that if you have two of these, uh, you won't get locked down, you won't get suppressed or frozen. So that's kind of the reason why I use this. I use antimatter reactor typically because usually when I'm jumping in with this build um, you know I'm going up against tanks like revenants and uh, you know this tends to work better than cannibal reactors now I know another option could be to use one of these and one of the cannibal reactors that works as well I just typically prefer to use uh, you know this kind of build here so having said that we're gonna jump into some gameplay here of the luchador with the grom and cinder and you're going to notice I'm actually going to be going up against quite a few tanks. Um, tanks being, you know, regular robots. And this is why I have the antimatter reactor on here. So you can see we're going up against quite a few robots here on this other side. So I'm going to try to roast them up. Watch how quickly my mantis heals. Okay, so when I get that heal, I'm going to try to take out this guy. Okay, so we have uh, we have an Arthur here. Let me just back away. We're gonna deal with this uh, this Arthur next. So let's do this. We're gonna be able to heal here again. There we go. Um, we have a uh, Fenrir on that side. Oh man, I got stuck. <laughs> okay, let's. Uh, Looks like they might have a... Is that a Luchador? What is that guy in? I'm going to jump over to uh, this side here. Let's see if we can perhaps get this beacon. Just going to get onto this beacon. Locked down. We're going to have the heal here soon. So we're going to do that. So let's heal up. He might actually drop in here again. Okay, so I'm just going to get this beacon. Let's just uh, jump towards center. I'm going to actually uh, lock down here. Let's do that. Let's use the heal. Heal up uh, this kid Titan next to me. Uh, let's try to deal with this guy here. You know what? Let's, uh, let's go for this Orochi next. Let's try to do that. Okay, so there is a, uh, there's a Minos on this side that I'm going to attack here. Okay, hold on a second. Let's move this way. Okay, so they have actually quite a few uh, bots here at center. Let's do that. Let's just lock down, use the heal. Oh, that was a Titan. I didn't realize. I thought it was a regular robot. Oh, we've got to watch out. There's a Luchador on that side. I'm just getting this beacon. Then I'm going to jump across there. So just hold on a second. Let's go ahead. 
Let's just do that. Gonna move close to this kid, see if I can try to give these guys a bit of a heal. There we go. Okay, so the next build I have here is the Grom and Squall. Now this kind of build is designed more to take out Titans. Um, you know, because of that, you know, I think I prefer running Cannibal Reactors on here. Um, if you are kind of concerned about regular bots, um, you know, I would maybe use Cannibal Reactor and Antimatter Reactor, you know, one and one, and the two Titan anti-controls. So yeah, we're gonna jump into some gameplay here of this build so you can see it in action. Okay, so I've just dropped in with my Luchador. Uh, we have a couple of players actually close to our spawn here. So let's try to deal with this guy. There we go. So in this kind of situation, I think I prefer having the antimatter reactor because you don't actually do that much damage to regular bots if you're running, you know, cannibal reactors. And it definitely makes a difference. It's very noticeable. So I'm just trying to deal with this guy. You can see I'm not really doing that much damage to him. I'm going to move on over to the side here. Um, it looks like we do have a luchador. Okay, so he's jumped. I'm just going to save my uh, shots here. He kind of messed up. I'm going to kind of fire at him in the hopes that he triggers his ability. So let's do that. Okay, there we go. We're going to activate owls now. And I should be able to kill him even though he is using, uh, you know, that mode. Oh, we still got this guy here. Okay, so it looks like they have a Kid Titan. Let's do this. Let's do that. There we go. I'm going to use the Reflector Shield. There might be someone actually that drops him behind me. I have to be careful here. So you can see I'm not really doing that much damage to regular bots. It's the downside of using the uh, Cannibal Reactors. Oh man, they have a uh, Titan or something here by our home. Let's do this. There we go. I'm going to put down a heal for my uh, teammates. So we can do that. <laughs> this guy's getting... He's getting uh, lit up by this kid here. Oh man, I wish I had the... Uh, I wish I had the uh, the cinders. Okay, we're going to do that. And that. <laughs> There's so many titans at center. You know what? I think they have more titans. Let's do that. Okay, so the last build I have here is the Basilisk and Crate build. So this is the full corrosion build with a range of 500 meters. And the way that you play this isn't like the other two builds. Um, you have to kind of keep your distance. And I kind of like this build because it also does a lot of damage to titans, okay? Because of that corrosion. Um, so, you know, having said that... Uh, using two Titan anti-controls, antimatter reactor. So this is going to help um, like against uh, regular bots like the Revenant. And then you have the cannibal reactor, which also helps against Titans. So uh, yeah, we're going to jump into some gameplay here of this build so that you can see just how deadly these weapons are to Titans. Uh, jumping in here on this side. So we're going to try to actually uh, take out this Luchador. Let's see if we can get onto this beacon. So the nice thing about the build I have right now is more the corrosion. Okay, but at close range it doesn't do so well. I might be lucky enough to take this guy out. Let's see. Let's see if we can try to get him with that. We're gonna jump. And remember that corrosion can actually do quite a bit of damage to him, but I'm gonna need my shield here. So that corrosion is going to eat away at his resistance, um, you know, a little bit. We'll see. Okay, there we go. That's doing a lot of damage. Take a look at that. And this one here. We're going to jump, squish these guys. Let's do that. This guy's down to his last stand. Man, there's so much going on here. Someone is healing me up, though. They're doing a great job at healing. Let's try to take this guy out here. 
It's actually doing a decent amount of damage to him. Let's try to do this and this. Man, that still didn't kill him. There we go. Okay, so they have a Miramitz there. You guys see that? Look at look at how quickly we are taking down that Miramitz. That's from all the uh, the corrosion. We might even kill him. I know he's in flight, but we, he might actually get killed here. Um. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna target this guy here. Kill that guy. Maybe I can focus down that Minos. There we go. Oh, shoot. There's a guy right here. My teammate is trying to protect me. Let's see if we can try to take this guy out. He's trying to focus me down here. Can I jump? We're going to do that and that. Oh. Okay, so before I end things here, there's a couple of builds which I'm going to talk about because I know you guys are going to be asking me, what about the Cataclysm and Cyclone build? Uh, doesn't that work? So I have tried this out. Um, I did find that I struggled when I was going up against a lot of luchadors uh, because quite often, you know, if they were in my face and then they jump straight up, I would lose the lock on target and it would take a couple of seconds. So that is one of the downsides to this build. Um, I think if I had a choice, I would rather actually use something like Vengeance Retaliators over this, um, but I prefer the Basilisk and Crate over the Vengeance and Retaliators, uh, mostly because of the corrosion. And, you know, this video is all about showing you the strongest builds for the luchador. So those are my three, the uh, Grom with Cinder, the Grom Squall, and also the Basilisk Crate. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be doing um, another video like this uh, tomorrow covering the Miramet. So if you're interested in that, definitely stay tuned. And I think that's pretty much it. So thank you guys for watching. And until the next video, I'll catch you guys later.